Hello, dear friends. In the previous lecture, we had discussed about wealth definition and welfare definition of economics. But in the present lecture, we are going to discuss about scarcity definition and growth oriented definition of economics. Now, let us discuss scarcity definition of economics, which was propounded by a prominent British economics professor Leonard Robbins. He has given a precise, scientific, and more exact definition of economics in his famous book, Nature and Significance of Economic Science, which was published in the year 1932. His definition is completely different from the earlier ones. According to Robbins, economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means, which have alternative uses. In this definition, Robbins has used three basic concepts such as ends, scarce means, and alternative uses. These are the three elements on which Robbins' definition stands. Here, ends imply human wants, scarce means refers to limited resources, and alternative uses converts that we can put the limited resources into several or multiple purposes. This key concept would also be vividly discussed in the key features of this definition in the next slide. Now let us illustrate the key features of scarcity definition of economics. In fact, human wants are unlimited that we experience in our real life. When one want is satisfied, another one crops off or appears. When that one too is satisfied, the next one appears. In this way, the satisfaction of one want and appearing of many other wants takes place. It can be said that Man dies, but his wants remain unfulfilled. Therefore, a man has a bundle of wants, that means human wants are unlimited. Talking about scarce means, here, means imply resources. The resources may be money, time, wealth, energy, etc. These resources are scarce or limited, while the human wants are unlimited. Here there is a contradiction between unlimited human wants and limited resources. All of our wants cannot be fulfilled because we have limited of the resources. And because of these reasons, it gives rise to an economic problem. Thus, it is said that scarcity of resources and unlimited human wants are the mother of all economic problems. If the resources were unlimited or plentifully available, there could be no economic problem and as such, anyone could be satisfied at any time. Since the resources are limited, we are forced or compelled to choose the most urgent want and postpone the less urgent want. Thus, scarcity of resources is another aspect of economic problem. With regards to alternative uses of means, we can say that the scarce resources have alternative uses. That means the resources can be put into several or multiple purposes. In this connection, let me give the example that is land. Land is a resource which can be used for the several purposes like for growing the crops, for construction of the building, for making the Brick. These are the different the ways of utilization of the resources like the land. If the land is used for growing of crops only, then same piece of land cannot be put to other uses simultaneously. In this connection, I can give the another example that is water. Water is a resource which can be used for several purposes like for bathing purpose, for washing the glasses, cleaning of the uh, utensils. Water is also used for the irrigation purposes. Water is also used for the generation of electricity. That means the water has the several uses. Let me give another example, very interesting example related to the um, uh, means or the resource that is the money. Supposing that Sunil Mahanan is a student of economics pursuing plus two in government autonomous college Bhavani Patna Kalahandi. 
सपोज ही हैज वन थाउजेंड रूपीज एट हिज डिस्पोजल हिज वंस आर मेनी सचेज फॉर परचेजिंग अवर रिस्ट वॉच यूनिफॉर्म बुक एंड शूज इफ सुनिल स्पेंड्स हिज एंटायर लिमिटेड मनी इनकम दैट इज वन थाउजेंड रूपीज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ परचेजिंग शू ओनली देन द परचेजिंग ऑफ अदर्स आइटम लाइक यूनिफॉर्म बुक एंड रिस्ट वॉच विड ऑटोमेटिकली बी ड्रॉफ्ट बिकॉज इफ सुनिल स्पेंड्स हिज एंटायर मनी फॉर द परचेज ऑफ शू ओनली देन ही विल बी लेफ्ट विथ नो मनी टू स्पेंड फॉर बुक यूनिफॉर्म एंड द रिस्ट वॉच दैट इज वाई इन ऑर्डर टू सेटिस्फाई वन वन दैट इज शू सुनिल हेज टू गिव ऑफ द अदर वंस दैट इज द बुक यूनिफॉर्म एंड रिस्ट वॉच हेन्स इट इज सेड दैट इफ द रिसोर्सेस विल हैव स्पेसिफिक यूजेस देन there would be no economic problem let us discuss another important features of this definition that is the gradation of wants in fact all of our wants are not equally important or urgent some are more of important while some are less important we satisfy the most urgent want and postpone the less urgent want we can make the gradation of the wants on the basis of urgency and the importance let me recall the example of sunil his wants are purchasing of book list was uniform all of his wants are not equally important for him each want is not as important as urgent as others because wants varies in intensity if sunil feels book as the most important then the book will be ranked in the first position if he feels uniform as the second important then uniform will be ranked second similarly wrist watch will be ranked third in this way sunil has to make the gradation among all his wants in this connection robins has rightly stated that economics is a science of choice that means we are bound to make the choice among all our wants because we are facing the limited resources from the above analysis it can be said that economics is the study of adjustment of limited resources with unlimited wants in the best possible manner so as to derive maximum satisfaction now let us discuss another definition of economics that is growth oriented definition of economics which was propounded by professor samuelson who is an american economist and the winner of nobel prize in the year 1970 his definition was supported by many modern economists like bentham and the fortescue according to samuelson economics is the study of how men and society choose with or without use of money to employ scarce productive resources which could have alternative uses to produce various commodities over time and distribute them for consumption now and in the future among various people and the groups of society this implies that economics is concerned with the production the the utilization of the productive resources to produce various commodities and distribute them for the consumption among the people in the society now let us illustrate the key features of growth oriented definition of economics like robins samuelson has put emphasis on scarcity of resources alternative uses of the resource and unlimited human wants apart from this he has also underlined the fact that the productive scarce resources should be fully and efficiently utilized so that maximum satisfaction can be achieved here the two concept fully and efficient are little bit confusing for the student so let me give the clarification better understanding 
regarding these two concepts. Here, the term fully indicates that the, all the available resources will be employed so that no resources will remain unutilized. For example, in a rural village like Sinapalli, 50 workers are available. If the 50 workers are totally engaged, totally engaged in any economic activities without making them unemployed, then we say that that is the fully utilization of the resources. Another concept, confusing concept that is efficiently. Efficiently which refers to the optimum or best use of the employed resources. As I cited the example just earlier in which 50 workers are engaged in the any economic activities. If they are used in the best possible manner, then the maximum possible quantity of output could be produced. Now, let me uh, illustrate another features of this definition. Economics definition or Robbins definition is a dynamic in nature because it not only considers the present generation to deal with the problem relating to production, consumption and distribution, but it also considers the problem of future generation. This implies that this implies that the growth oriented definition not only consider the issue relating to the resource allocation for the present generation but also the issue relating to the resource allocation for the growth or the for future generation. Thus, it is said that economics is concerned with production, consumption and distribution of goods or services. Dear friends, we covered scarcity definition and growth oriented definition of economics. In the next lecture, I will come up with the very interesting topic that is out of all these four definitions of economics, which definition is considered as the best definition of economics that will be discussed in the next lecture. Thank you very much dear friends for watching the video till the end. Please like, share, comment and subscribe my video if you love to eat. Thank you so much.